Welcome. In this video, we are fixing Microsoft Compatibility Telemetry High Desk Usage in Windows 10. Windows Telemetry data includes basic system diagnostic information, uh, system files, logs of how frequently you use an application or feature, and likely more metrics which are not yet known. This module collects and sends data to Microsoft servers so they diagnose problems using the set amount of data they collected. Although this is a useful tool for helping Microsoft further improve user experience, many people recently reported that this process was causing an unusual amount of disk usage. These spikes in disk usage can be continuous or may occur from time to time. Although one cannot completely disable the telemetry service, we can try shut down some of its modules and check if this is solved the problem. So as a first solution, we'll be disabling telemetry using Group Policy Editor. We can try to disable the telemetry service using the Group Policy. It is possible that some versions of Windows might not have Group Policy Editor installed. You can check our other article on how to add Group Policy Editor to your version of Windows. Press Windows and R key. Type gpedit.msc. Navigate to computer configuration. Let me then administrative templates, Windows components, data collection, and preview builds. Here, open the allow telemetry setting and set the key to disabled. Click on apply and then click on OK. Close this window and restart your computer. Once your computer is back online, check if this solves the problem. You can check the disk usage by pressing uh, Windows in R and type task manager to open the task manager from here you can check your usage t uh, you can check the disk usage by the telemetry service the second solution that we have is to disable telemetry using registry editor registry editor is a powerful tool if you change keys which you have no idea of you might risk your computer becoming non-functional so it is recommended to take to your registry backup first and then go for the change Press Windows and R key, type RajaRed, click on Yes on USC prompt. First, we're going to take a backup, so click on Export and say whatever name you want. We'll save it at any location. Wait for the export to get completed. All right. Now navigate to HK local machine software policies Microsoft Windows and data collection. If you find a key saying allow telemetry here, just double click and open it. If you don't find one you can create one for the telemetry. Say new, lever 32, name it allow telemetry, and set its value to zero. Click OK, close the registry editor, and restart your computer. Once your computer is back online, go back to task manager, and check if your issue is resolved. The third solution that we have is to disable Compatible.exe using Task Scheduler. In this solution, we are trying to disable specific process using the Task Scheduler. Any process in Task Scheduler may have to may have a time set, and after that elapsed time, this process will start executing and will keep executing until the job is done. We can always revert the changes using the same method if this doesn't work for you. Press Windows and R key. Type P A S K S C H D 
task.msc and it should open up task scheduler. Now navigate to task scheduler library, Microsoft, Windows. From here, go to application experience. In application experience, you will find a task named Microsoft Compatibility Appraiser. Right click on this task and click on Disable. Now restart your computer and once your computer gets back online, go to Task Manager again and check if the issue is resolved. If the problem still persists at this stage, we can try taking ownership of the process executable and rename or change the permission so it will not run automatically. You will need administrative access to follow the solution. Press Windows and E and navigate to C, Windows, System32. And here search for the executable named Compatible Runner. Right click on the file and click on properties. Now navigate to security tab and select advanced. In advanced change the owner click advanced again and click on find now. From here you can check, select your account and click on apply. Now your account is owner of this executable. Close the program. And click OK. Now click on security and then go to advanced. In advanced for administrators, remove all the permissions that are given on this file. If this still doesn't help, you can delete this file or you can just rename it uh, so that it won't be running again. Restart your computer and check if the problem is solved. I hope this video will be helpful for you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel.